So this fella here you see on the screen, George Packer, he says something that has rubbed people the wrong way. I'm going to let you hear what he got to say, and then we're going to get into the article. But the sharpest divide in our politics today uh, is education. It's whether you have a college degree or not. That is the likeliest determinant of whether you're going to vote Republican or Democratic. And that's why we're seeing larger numbers, and I met some of them in Western Pennsylvania, of Latinos and Black voters who are moving toward Trump. But the sharpest... So... Listen to listening to this the first time. You might think, hey, maybe he's saying that black and Latino voters are becoming more educated and that's why they're voting for Trump. I mean, you can look at it that way. Or maybe he's saying black and Latino voters don't, voters don't have education and that's why they're voting for Trump. But let's let's listen to it again. Let's back it on up and listen to it again. But the sharpest divide in our politics today uh, is education. It's whether you have a college degree or not. That is the likeliest determinant of whether you're going to vote Republican or Democratic. Now, I did a video on this very issue, and I felt that a lot of people like in poverty or close to poverty, the reason why a lot of them vote Democrat is because of the of like the programs that the Democrats continue to push in order to pretty much keep you in poverty. You understand what I'm saying? Like you struggling. Cause I say, I was using the example of myself. Um, when I was going to school to get my degree in nursing, you know, it was a struggle. I had you know, recently divorced. I had little to little to nothing, you know, um, living off credit cards, student loans, and 401ks. Had no choice because that was the sacrifice I had to make in order to get my degree and in order to be around my kids on a daily basis. Now, if I wanted to be super selfish and just say, I'm going to get my degree and come back, like I see a lot of women have done, I would have moved in with my parents on the other side of town, which would have been a good hour for my kids, and I wouldn't have been seeing them as much as I saw them going through what I went through. So it was worth it to me. But like I say, I was like I say, just like I say, I was just struggling, trying, you know, trying to make it. So yes, I used for about two, three years, I'm say about three years, I'd use like the Medicaid for the kids, um, food stamps, what have you. And uh, like I said, was keeping my kids for a good portion of the time too. You know, going back and forth from me, from my house, from my apartment, their mother's house, stuff like that. But using programs to move up—that's what you're supposed to do as a stepping stone. The problem is you got a lot of people who use these programs as a livelihood, as long as they have children. But even worse off, they don't even use that money or them programs to build anything. So then once those programs are over with, should I have family members that use the program as a livelihood once their kids grew up, they had nothing to fall back on. <laughs> Excuse me. They had nothing to fall back on. So they were still doing menial jobs, making, you know what I'm saying, minimum wage or not a whole lot of money and barely, and barely surviving on their own. Hell, even went to a life of crime or life, writing hot checks and boosts and stuff. I mean, that's just people. This is this is what happens, and people don't see the future and don't see how what you're doing now affects your future. They don't look. They don't look. You know, what I'm saying to, to the future at all, and and it's sad. But yeah, the Democrats got these programs and stuff to help the poor, but they don't force them to do better with themselves. Like I say, like if I had. If I was controlling the government and, and had these programs, I'm like, look, after we'll, we'll give you free housing, free school, and free daycare, food. We'll either free or, 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 or we'll make it to where you don't have to pay a whole lot. We'll make it a lot easier on you. All you got to do is either go to college, get a degree, or learn a trade. And we'll revisit you like every year, like they do now. And see where you are after two years. If you don't have that degree or that trade, we wipe, you know, we 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 may revisit it after two years and see 
where you are, anything, things can happen to where you might be behind a little bit, but you have to be further than you were when you, at least 50% further than you were when you started in order to maintain the program. But if you ain't doing nothing and you got no legitimate reason of why you ain't doing nothing, we cut the program. As simple as that. And that's why I feel like the Democrats should do, but they, but they didn't, you know what I'm saying? But they don't. And that's why I said a lot of poor people rather go with the Democrats because the Republicans be wanting to get rid of these programs, which I understand. It's like, hey, and as men, we're like, hey, I can understand it because if you don't want a handout, just you can take the program, but just make sure I got the same resources that everybody else got when they uh trying to come up, you know, get an education, start their business or what have you. But anyway, let's get into this news one article real quick. It says Atlanta writer George Packer suggests black Latino voters like Trump because they didn't go to college. I went to college and I tell you that, I mean, you see my videos. It's all about Trump's policies and about his past. Trump ain't going to put you in change because he didn't do it his first four years. Trump is not going to be a dictator because this country, there are too many rules and regulations to where you can't have a dictator in this country. It's, it's just not going to happen. So, you know, it, they try to use that dictator stuff and, but that's the same thing they're doing. That's what they're doing right now with Kamala Harris being your uh, your nominee because she wasn't voted in as your nominee. So that's like a dictatorship type thing. So I, anyway, this is a writer for a popular online news magazine is under fire for suggesting that black and Latino voters are gravitating towards supporting Donald Trump's candidacy over Kamala Harris because they don't have college education. George Packer made his comments during an interview with MSNBC while discussing a recent article he penned in The, in the Atlantic about three factors that will decide the election. A brief portion of Packer's interview has gone viral for his opinion on what is driving the polling numbers that show that more black and Latino voters intend to support Trump on election day than they have for his past two presidential campaigns. Quote, the sharpest divide in our politics today is education, Packer said during the MSN, MSNBC interview. It's whether you have a college degree or not that is the likeliest determinant of if you're going to vote Republican or, Decra or, Dem or Democrat. And that's why we're seeing large numbers. And I mean, some of them in Western Pennsylvania, no, no, I met some of them in Western Pennsylvania of Latino and black voters who are moving towards Trump. It would appear that Packer wasn't suggesting that black and Latino voters are not making themselves aware of what is at stake of this election in order to make an, in make an informed decision at the ballot box. Instead, he specifically pointed to the lack of a college degree. Suggesting that black and Latino voters who plan to support Trump on education, they do so because they don't have enough book smarts. Here's my question. What kind of degree are you talking about? Because I have a nursing degree. I don't have a degree in politics. You know where I learned my stuff on po about politics? I online and I read, right? Like, got this book called like the U.S. Constitution. This is from a school. As a matter of fact, I, this was called a Hills, Hillsdale College Press. And this is a constitutional reader, right? Uh no, uh, take a course online free. That kind of takes you to tells you the foundation of the Constitution, stuff like that. Uh, what else? Got like I said, the whiteness of wealth, how the tax system impoverishes Black Americans, and how to fix it. Textbook here, the color of money, Black banks and the racial wealth gap. Uh, how the Black tax infrastructure infrastructure book black tax all kind of books i mean i got a bunch of other books i have books in my room about stuff too and you know i'm a nice thing i'm reading too about about uh like rent and how it costs more to be poor than it does to be than it, than it be not poor even in even in the housing market but that's where i get a lot of my education from i read a lot i study and to make an informed decision politicians before i went to vote I looked up politicians and their policies. That's how you become educated. It got nothing to do with book smarts. Now, if you just want to say you're just dumb as a dog, the reason why you vote for Trump is just because you're dumb, just say that. And then we can have an honest conversation and, you know what I'm saying, and dig into something that you probably go somewhere that you probably don't want to go to. But to say that uneducated people vote for Trump, that's crazy. I have a degree. I have family members but that have degrees and also have businesses who I know voted or are going to vote for Kamala Harris. Know this. But I also know people who got degrees, who don't have degrees, who have businesses, who don't have businesses, they're voting for Trump. 
But some of it, they may be voting because of racial bias. Some of them may be voting for gender bias, ethnic bias. Uh, some might, and some, a lot of us, hopefully, most of us are hopefully voting for po- uh, policies. You know, Kamala Harris, you, she, you ask her a question, everything is word salad. And major news outlets are even saying that, showing that, that she can't answer a direct question. Uh, because she's a woman of Eastern descent, Eastern inner descent, Indian descent, you know that she won't be respected by world leaders. And that's a, and that's a big issue. That is a big issue. No matter if you feel that just cause she a woman and she should be respected because she's a, she a pre, she's going to be the president. Yeah, that makes sense. But you can't make them world leaders over there respect you. You're going to have to earn it. So you got to fight even harder, but they don't respect women like that. I, I got said it before. I've seen the videos. I, 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 man, I know people personally in my history, women, how they are, what they're doing and how they're, you know, how they'll talk and they won't say things directly, but you can just look at them and see just how they move that something is not respected of them by their husbands and by the men in their families. She's not going to get that respect also or either. And that's a big problem. And she have no policies and she flip flop too much. That's the reason why I couldn't vote for. Her. It's simple as that. As a man, you get to a certain age and a knowledge and an understanding of how the world, how the world works. You can't, you can't go with we should watch a bull corn leaders. You got to go with somebody who who you can who you know is gonna, who you feel is gonna got the best, who's best for the job. And she's not it. And I said beyond that, Packer said that it it's said it's that purported lack of of a college education that decides which political party they side with on election day. Cynics could and did interpret Pack, Packer's words to mean that he thinks black and Latino voters are not intelligent enough to knowingly make informed decisions about political candidates. So basically, he said the same thing a lot of these Democrat shields have been saying that that they have that a lot of times folks are not voting for a certain party because or Democrat because they can't they're not smart enough to make an informed decision which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But Democrat Shield said, and now you got this is white dude saying it. That's uh some kind of writer on a, on on an online on an online uh website, news site. Let's see, let's see, since let's see, George Packer is a racist one account, one ex account responded to the viral clip of the interview. So this Ad Atlantic writer George Packer is claiming that blacks and Latinos are born for Trump because they are uneducated. You see, when you as a Latino with the NBA, I find that the educated people argument not only laughable, but also incredibly insulting to those who choose not to incur crippling debt to attain some sort of false social status. Another post claim I've learned just as much, if not more, from people who did not pursue higher education than from those who did. Exactly. People just got sense, man. People learn different. You ain't got to go to school to be smart. You know, a lot of times, a lot of people who are smart didn't go to school. Some of the smartest people didn't go to school because they want to encourage, especially now, much of school costs. Man, you might be smarter just, you know what I'm saying, just going online and learning stuff. The truth is that despite Trump seeing gains of support from black male voters, in particular, all black voters have overwhelmingly voted Democrat for decades, including the past two presidential elections in which Trump was a candidate. Let's be honest. Most black people don't have college degrees. A lot of us have like some college. And a lot of us don't have any any form of a college education. You know, the poverty in among our, amongst our people is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Compared to, let's say like whites, like I looked up some stats in the city here to where the population is like 78% white. Uh, I want to say not even 20% black, but yet blacks are there's more the percentage of poverty people the percentage of people in poverty blacks have the most followed by whites and then followed by everybody else so it's like you are 20 percent of, of the uh population of the poverty population whites are like 15 percent, but yet 
you only make up like 18% of the population. Whites make up 78%. Those are just facts here. And it's probably facts in a lot of cities in the country. But to this guy's point, education, I feel, has very little to do. College education has very little to do with why people are doing stuff. People are just tired of seeing what they've seen over the last four years. You've seen Biden, Harris. You've seen Trump four years ago. Now you can make a informed in an informed decision. Period. Point blank. And that's what we're going on. This is the age of information. We can go online. We can read. We can look up stuff ourselves and come to a conclusion of who we want to vote for and who we need to vote for. And that's just it. But anyway, that's all I'm going to spend on this on this topic here. You can go to the news1.com website. I'll put the link in the description box and you can read it for yourself and see some statistics. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Those four things cost you nothing, but maybe a couple of minutes of the day, but it means the world to us. If you want to support us financially, you can get super thanks, super chats, or go to the description box, click on links there. You can give that way. You can support us that way. Don't forget to go to MarlonMorale.com. That's MarlonMorale.com where you get 10% off your first purchase. And also, you can click on the shop button below this video to where we got sales going on. Like with our mini beer kits, it's normally $25, but we had a good, great, great sale. Matter of fact, I think we're going to keep that sale. Just for anybody who goes to the shop, click on the shop button. Get as many beer kits, sandalwood oil, scented sandalwood, which is clinically proven to stimulate hair follicle growth. So this is great for those who got a beard, a little patchy beard, and trying to fill it out, or those who are trying to start off growing their beard. It's a great starter kit. Thank you. I love it. You won't be disappointed. With that being said, I'll leave you in peace. And I'll see you on the other side.